Hello student, I am Susil, your teacher for this 3ds Max class. In this first class, we take a introduction tour. When you first time open 3ds Max, this welcome screen will come. In case you didn't want to see this window again and again when you open 3ds Max, you can uncheck this checkbox so it will not come in the next time. But some important informations are mentioned here so you can take a look. By clicking on the second button, you can see panel related information here like this is a scene explorer some controllers are available here you can see here same as some time and navigation related buttons are available in the bottom side command panel sign in information available here and some other workspace related settings are mentioned here so you can try these settings or panels now i click on the next button here you can see how you can use mouse for tremble the view or zoom in zoom out i click this button again uh, how you can pan you can use a scroll wheel for pan and zoom purpose so these are very important informations and here you can see the camera settings again in the bottom side navigation controllers are mentioned here now i click on the next button or you can click on this arrow so these are some scene safety improvement related informations a application you can separately install for safe scene script uh, sometime it's very useful now i click on the play button again here you can see some other informations like what's new sample file or tutorials now you can close this window or first you can uncheck this checkbox so it will not come again so it's a 3ds max default interface when you first time open 3ds max this type interface will come and here you can modify this interface little bit so you can get more space for modeling or texturing purpose so what we can do we can remove this panel it's a viewport layout panel you can change this four viewport window layout by clicking on this button and here you can see different different tiles for this viewport layout but we use this default viewport layout for this course so i close this panel by right click on this gray color line a panel will display here you can see viewport layout tab i uncheck this and this panel will gone same as in this area this panel for modeling purpose by clicking on this white color button you can expand this and if you are modeling something you can use this panel but we use this little bit later so you can turn off or close this panel by right click on this gray color line and uncheck ribbon so this panel also gone now you have some uh, more space for modeling purpose now we take a introduction tour in the first row you can see the menus in the file menu all the standard options available here like new reset open or in case if you want to close 3ds max you can use this exit button for import or export buttons also available here by using these buttons you can import other object autocad files or other things and by clicking on the export button you can export geometry from the 3ds max so these are also very useful tool same as other menus also uh, you can check like create here all the standard and extended primitive available here uh, by using these tool you can create 3d geometry or 2d shapes for creating shape a shape menu also available here here you can see all the 2d geometries like line rectangle circle ellipse arch and so on same as other menus also available here in the second row these are some standard tools like redo undo linking we will discuss about these tool in the our next classes these tool related to selections and these for transformation purpose here you can see some tools related to snappings and in the next these for mirror and alignment these tool related to render settings material 
and these are other settings like project panel path and these are other settings we will discuss about these button in our course in the left side you can see a scene explorer all the geometry that you create in the viewport that mention here also these are different different filters by clicking on these button you can deselect all or select all or by clicking on the deselect all you can manually select it some specific geometry type in the bottom side you can see a timeline it's for animation purpose and these tools related to animation keys creation and these tool related to animations in the bottom side these tools related to camera settings or navigation related so we will discuss about these tools also in our course this panel is very important panel that called command panel if you want to create any geometry like box 3d geometry you can choose these standard primitive if you want to create shape shape option also available here by clicking on this second icon you can create shape same as in case if you want to create lights light option also available here next option for creating cameras and these are other helping tools that we discuss these tool related to helping tools or other system settings so we will discuss about these tool in our classes also so now i click on the geometry button again in the center area these called viewport viewport name mentioned here like top viewport and these are other shading related settings this called view cube by using this you can see the viewport name here or you can use these buttons for rotation purpose also or changing viewport when you click on a viewport this turn into a active viewport you can see a golden yellow color line on the corners it's mean this viewport is a active viewport same as if you click on the perspective viewport it's turned into active viewport so by clicking on these viewport you can turn to active or disable also in the next class we discuss about navigation tools